Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to share you some of the new Windows 11 issues and also a new update from the Windows side regarding the Windows 11 Insider Developer to Beta channel update. So now, firstly, let's have a look on the new Windows 11 issues I am facing in the build 22616. So in this update, so I'm actually facing issues in the search bar. So whenever I'm clicking on the search option, so there is nothing has been shown and no uh, recent application or quick searches or top apps like that nothing shown whenever I am searching some things so no search results is also come so this is the main thing and also when I am actually clicking on the start menu so after clicking on the start menu also there will also a search for and we actually click on that it actually moves to the search option only so the same thing is actually happening and I can't able to search any apps and I can't open any application right from the start menu so in that case I want to directly go to that uh, particular application uh, root folder and there only I can able to open that application in case if I doesn't create a desktop shortcut like that means and uh, if I want to solve this issue means so the one thing is I want to do is now is to restart a PC so after restart a PC so I can able to use the search option so just click on the search option means now it actually shows and I can able to search for the all the apps like that uh, so it's uh, seamlessly working good but at some period so after restarting means it actually working good but at some period of time it again start the same issues so this is the one thing and the next issue is that uh, i am using the build 22616 so in this build i am having uh, increased taskbar size so as you seen here the taskbar size has been increased in this build on my pc so i think windows is actually working on uh, manually adjusting the taskbar size as like a windows 10 so in the future update in the windows 11 also you can able to manually adjust the taskbar size as per your wish but now it, the taskbar size is actually more increased size so it's not looking good for me so this is a one more issues so i'm actually facing and recently the system tray icon option is also hidden so these are all the windows 11 issues i am facing in the windows 11 developer build 22616 so and the next important update from the windows side is that uh, they have actually released a new build 25115 to the developer channel only so this is an important update from the windows insider side so because in this build they are actually closing the developer channel that means they are actually closing the switching from developer channel to beta channel window so on this update in case if you have actually installed this update means you can't able to switch between the developer channel to beta channel i am still presently using the windows build 22616 so in this build i can able to change from developer channel to beta channel but in case if you have actually installed that uh, 25115 update means you can't able to change and one more thing is that in the last five windows 11 insider preview build so windows is actually installing this preview build for both developer version and beta version so uh, from the windows build 22581 22593 22598 22610 and 22616 so in case if you are using any one of this build means you can easily able to change from windows insider developer channel to beta channel Channel. so that is the thing but, but once you actually updated to 25115 update means you can't able to change and the, this is the final chance in case if you want to switch over from the developer channel to beta channel means this is the final chance in case if you are actually installed this uh, new preview build 25115 means uh, still you will have a one more chance that is you will have a 10 days period chance to roll back to the previous build so you can able to do that so for that uh, in case if you are actually installed today means so from today you will get a 10 days of period to roll back so after installing that update and during that time just to go to the windows update and go to the advanced option and here you will see a option called a recovery just go to this option and here is the option go back so in case you are actually in case if you are actually installed that update means so after that you can go back to the preview build by just clicking on this go back option by choosing this option you can roll back to the previous build and at the same time your backup will not be lost so that is a one more thing and also one more thing is that whenever you are actually switching from uh, so in the windows 11 insider from developer channel to beta channel means so you will not actually lost your backup so that is the thing so once you actually roll back means again you will get the previous build so you can able to switch over from the developer channel to beta channel and also in case if you are using any one of this build version means you can easily switch over from the developer channel to beta channel and finally if you actually installed a build 25115 update and if you are not roll back within that 10 days period means then if you want to go back to the beta channel or release preview channel like that means 
so in that case the only way to switch to the beta channel is you need to do a clean installation of the released version of windows 11 so that is the one thing and during that time you will not able to restore that backups like that you can able to backup some of the files but the, all the app data will be deleted so you need to do a clean windows 11 install so that is the thing so that's why windows is actually giving this important update so why they are actually giving this update and why they are actually closes the, the developer channel to beta channel window means so in the windows 11 developer channel they are actually going to test some of the new concept and new features for the developer channel and that features will not be available into the beta channel and moreover all these new updates they are going to test in the windows 11 developer channel will might not be stable so that is a thing so recently we have actually said that some of the windows 11 issues like uh, so the search option is not that much working and then uh, we i am having the increased toss for size and recently the system tray icon has been hidden so like that in the upcoming windows 11 developer version so they are actually trying new concept new features so that uh, some of the features is actually coming in this update and some of the features will actually disabled in the upcoming updates so like that the features will be actually enabled disabled like that and there will be more instability also there might be so in case if you are using your pc as a, a personal work like that means you will face some more unstable while using the windows 11 developer version in the upcoming updates so for that only windows is actually recommending from switching from the developer channel to the beta channel so once you switch to the beta channel means you will get almost a stable update and once you go back to the beta update means at a one point you will get a update with the window opening with the beta channel to release preview channel and during that time you can easily go back to the release preview channel for example it's like a boarding through a connecting flight like that you can't able to directly switch from the developer channel to release preview channel now for this selected updates you can able to switch over from the developer channel to beta channel once you selected this beta channel means you will receive a update to the beta channel and you will be updated to the beta channel update and at one point you will get a window opened for the beta channel and release preview channel and during that time you can switch over from the beta channel to the release preview channel so once you go to the release preview channel means it's a completely stable version of the windows 11 it's a consumer version of windows 11 so that is the release preview channel so once you go to the release preview channel means you can easily able to use your windows 11 pc so while using these methods your backup will not be deleted you will have your same windows system and all your app data will be always be stored in your pc itself but in case if you are actually not doing like this means if you actually install a fresh windows 11 means if you actually install the windows 11 newly means so all your app data will be deleted and your backup will be deleted you will get a fresh windows 11 only so that is the thing in case if you want all the backup and all your app data backup means so you need to do a step by step process so firstly for this builds you can just to go switch from the developer channel to beta channel and after that in the beta channel during in any one of the update you will get a window opened for the release preview channel so during that time you can able to switch over from the beta channel to the release preview channel so this is the step by step process so this is how you can easily able to switch over from the windows 11 insider program developer channel to beta channel to release preview channel without losing any data so this is the last chance for you to move from the developer to beta channel and at one point you can also move to the release preview channel also and overall this is a new update this is the only way you can able to switch over so well now that's it for today video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys